Hello, this is Vec. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful and spectacular city of Liverpool here in England. And I'm visiting one of the most beautiful museums here. This is the Walker Art Gallery that you see behind me. Now, Andrew Walker was a very wealthy man here in Liverpool and in 1873 he donated 20,000 pounds for a creation of an art gallery. But the gallery opened up its doors in 1877 and it is absolutely spectacular and the most wonderful art gallery in England outside of London. Let's go for a tour and let's see what they display. We're going to visit two different parts. The upstairs floor where all the paintings that exhibited and then we're going to go downstairs and admire the sculptures. Let's go. And in this part of the gallery, we see a self-portrait by Rembrandt. A portrait of the painter when he was young. This was painted in 1632. And uh, this particular painting here was painted in 1632 by Peter Paul Rubens. It is a painting of Virgin Mary, Christ, Saint Elizabeth and uh, John the Baptist. In this particular part of the gallery we find medieval art from uh, Italy, Spain, and France between the years of uh, 1200 and 1500 after Christ. Here's a quick view of the paintings and the art that you can see in this beautiful part of the gallery here. It consists of two rooms. Here's the second room here with more art. Beautiful art actually. But there's one painting here which is remarkable and it is just around the corner from here. Right there. Let's go look at it. In uh, this part of the gallery, we also find a copy of uh, the famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci, Mona Lisa. Now, da Vinci painted Mona Lisa in the 15th century. This is an early copy from early 17th century. And of course, it shows Lisa Gerardini a silk merchant's wife and this particular painting is a very close copy of Mona Lisa and it shows more of the surroundings than the original painting does behind her and around her shoulders so in case you have never had a chance to see Mona Lisa this one comes very very close to the original Right there. And uh, here's another part of the gallery that deals with uh, medieval art between 1200 and 1500 AD from Spain, France, and Italy. And here we find a masterpiece by Tiziano, otherwise known as Titian, T I T I. A N painted around fifteen thirty one AD. 
This is the supper. And it shows Christ sharing supper with his apostles after his crucifixion. Now, this wonderful gallery is absolutely huge and can keep you occupied for quite a few hours. You get a free map when you get here. By the way, entrance is free as well, and it's open seven days a week. So I'm going to show you a few more of the galleries up here on the second floor, and then we're going to go down to the ground floor and admire some of the sculptures as well. Come on. And uh, in another large room in this wonderful gallery, we find a collection of 18th century paintings by English painters. And the way the gallery has been arranged is in the center of every room you find art or items representing that era as well. Here's a look at some of the paintings in this beautiful room. And in another room, we find a wonderful collection of 19th century paintings. Some of them are from local artists as well. And uh, a very large room with uh, displays and exhibitions of British art from 1880 to 1950. Uh -huh. Now, not only this is a spectacular art gallery, and as I said, this is the largest art gallery in England outside of London, but the architecture of the building is absolutely spectacular as well. Here's a quick view of the atrium on the second floor. Here's the uh, busy and very loud cafeteria on the ground floor. You can see the statues around that space. We're gonna take the marble staircase to go up to the second floor. And the galleries that you saw are to my right, but here's the central atrium here with views down to the lower floor paintings decorating the walls up here and a lot of beautiful sculptures. As well. And here's a general view of this beautiful building. And uh, I'm now on the ground floor. This is a very large room here displaying the sculptures collected by the uh, Walker Art Gallery. Now what's happening here uh, is that there are so many sculptures, there's no space actually for all of them and they are cramped all together. So let's walk around and let's view just a few of them and get an idea of the beauty 
of this particular room here.